I think it's definitely one of the most exciting matches uh, of recent times. Uh, I, I can only compare it with the match of uh, Topalov Kramnik that had a bloodshed uh, throughout. Uh, here I can tell that uh, one difference with the match between Topalov and Kramnik that after all they were making some incredible ideas in the openings. So there were lots of innovations. In this match we see much less opening innovations but much more nerves. So the players are losing positions that are uh, not really losable on certain levels. So the resilience is uh, rather low and defensive uh, mechanisms, I, I think they're somehow missing from, from the play of both uh, participants. But it's quite understandable because uh, the lack of uh, classical chess, generally in chess, and uh, since the majority of tournaments are normally played in rapid and other fast formats, it, it slowly removes this uh, uh, patience from the players. So player became, players became really impatient. Uh, so, as I was expecting, and I think I uh, spoke about this, uh, Nepomnish is a favorite, clear favorite. And uh, so far, I think he's, uh, despite the fact that he lost a large uh, number of games, uh, he's still dictating the match. So, he, he is uh, leading now by a point. And uh, I do think that. The last game was uh, a big type of a game, you know, when, when you lose uh, slightly worse positions is one thing, but when you lose a position that you are not really in a risk of losing because everything is protected and uh, you can just move your king back and forth and you, you're, you can only be better and to lose from that position uh, is, is of course a makes a huge difference for Ding psychologically. It's going to be very tough to come back from that. I mean, you really have to be a, an Iron Man, which of course he is, I mean, looking at the ways he came back. But at the same time, this, this is somehow too big of a mistake that uh, will uh, really play a big part in his uh, in his mind, I think it will play tricks with him. I really don't believe that he's going to come back from this. That's that's my uh, feeling. I mean, for and I think the the second part of the match will will uh, be kind of a shadow of the first part of a match. So I think uh, Jan will uh, manage to become world champion.